breakfast and a little studying at breakfast before we go to the show. All right, so we are all ready to go, all studied up, and ready to go see Doc Gooden. First autograph of the show for the collector and I, and the first autograph in about two years. As you can see, we're repping the collector and son t-shirts. If you want to get one, leave a comment with your shirt size. First autograph secure. getting his Randy Johnson ball authenticated by JSA. Straightaway center. Yes, and our, <laughs> our uh, GM talked about how it every single day it seemed like he brought it up about how great of a home run. Oh, I know. Yeah. They always talked about that. It just, the ball just kind of disappeared. Yeah. In the yeah. middle of nowhere. Yeah. yeah. In Duluth. The in Duluth. Yeah. It was a dark, bad night there, too. That, yeah. that stadium, too, we talked about it on the broadcast multiple times. It's just where home runs go to die because it's 340 down each foul line. So yeah. For you to do that, that's so impressive. That did, they, did they kind of change the, the lighting there at that moment? Yeah, they got, they got some nice lights oh, now. Oh, they got some nice lights now? Yeah, yeah, yeah but it's still, it's still really have. old. All right, so we just secured our last autograph of the day, Gerald Strawberry, very nice guy. As you saw, I was able to talk to him about Duluth, Minnesota, where I did my broadcasting. He even put a free inscription on there for us, so that was awesome. Now we're on our way to get coffee because I haven't had any coffee yet today, and I need some. The coffee has been secured, just the basic vanilla almond milk latte. Now we're wired and ready to get back to the show. All right, so the collector and I are back from the show. It was a good day at the show. Got some great autographs, met some great guys. Got to talk to Daryl Strawberry, as you saw already on the vlog. We did make some card investments, or rather I did, and the first one that we got was... Twitter spoke, and they said I should go with Zach Wilson as the quarterback from this class. So here we go. It's not a bad card. Might grade out at a 9, maybe a 10 if we're lucky, but... The only thing I gotta wonder is, Zach Wilson, why are you signing silver on white? That just, what's wrong with you? Come on. <laughs> That's the only issue I have with the card, but it's a rookie card, numbered out of 25. And the other investment we made was a Panini Prism Draft Picks box, which you've already seen us open on the channel. Got it for 45 and we've seen it on other outlets going for roughly $85, so you can't argue with the price. 
Here's the Hall of Autographs. You got Daryl Strawberry, Doc Gooden, and Randy Johnson. More to come tomorrow. Here's the last thing that we invested in. It's a Premier Edition First Series 1991 baseball cards. They don't go for a ton, but for 10 bucks, you can't beat it. All right, so the collector and I are back from the show. We have that 1991 Premier Edition wax box. Mm -hmm. We'll open one pack for you guys here on the vlog, but that's all you get. You gotta wait until the full pack opening comes out on Thursday in the future. I'm gonna dig through and find the lucky pack. Not that there's anything really valuable on these. It's more for fun and to think that, hey, these cards are 30 years old. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like, it's been a while since they came out. They're I remember them. I remember, yeah, they are. I remember when they came out, they were kind of the cool card to get. They were pretty, more, you know, much more expensive than the standard cards. Um, I think there was Top's way of trying to compete with Upper Deck, who had just come out a couple years earlier, and they were the, the cool new cards. And this was higher quality photos and card stock. Let's see who we get. Is anybody good? I think, what'd you say, there's a Nolan Ryan where he's in a tuxedo mm -hmm. pitching. <laughs> That's the most expensive card. We'll see. From this set. Ooh, Barry Bonds. It's not bad. Well, these are all stuck together. That's what you oh, get from old wax cards. Barry Bonds. It's kind of cool. It actually stuck together with an Eddie Murray card. Oh, oh Eddie Murray. That's another. It's a Hall of Famer right there, Eddie Murray. So far, but boy, I can't separate these. Do you need my help? See if you can. The hitting a corner. Billy Ripken. Stuck together with Pat Combs. Kel's brother, of course. Oh, you got it. That Eddie Murray card's pretty cool. Eddie Murray. All right, yeah, these are all stuck together. Oh, this is a nice pack. Next one, another Hall of Famer. This is from the Minnesota Twins. Can you guess who? Kirby Puckett. Kirby Puckett. Stuck That's together with Dave Henderson card. on the back. See if we can separate those two. Dave West. That's another old twin player. Pitcher. Really didn't do much for them. There's the one that was stuck to Kirby. Dave Steve. He was a good pitcher for the Blue Jays. This is a good pack. But man, they really are stuck together. Will Clark. Will the Thrill. Remember him? Yeah. The Giants. Now we've got like three cards all stuck together. So we can separate them. Uh, without scratching them. If you want to do it, you're better at it. You need uh, some tool to get those. There you go. So here's Tom Browning. Pictures reds, I believe. Yeah. Yep. Dave Valle. And the last one is, I don't know, it's still another one <laughs> stuck there. So, so far we've got two Hall of Famers, Kirby Puckett and Eddie Murray in this one pack, plus the player that would for sure be in the Hall of Fame wasn't for the steroids use, the Barry Bonds. Who's that? Joe Oliver. Okay. And Dave Stein. Steve. Steve. All right, guys, so the collector and I have secured food, much needed after a long day at the show. We went and got Subway, so here it is. Can't go wrong with Subway at all. All right, so we have finished our dinner, and I was thinking, I'm not sure how I feel about the Zach Wilson investment. The guy had it listed at 150. I got him to come down to 100, but it's a card manufacturer I've never heard of. Granted, it's numbered out of 25, and it's a Zach Wilson autograph rookie card. What do you guys think? Leave a comment below. Do you think I made a bad purchase or a good purchase? So we're about to rip the box that we picked up today, the Panini Prism Draft Picks box. Oops, that's the wrong way around. <laughs> there it is. Uh, that's about all you're going to get on this vlog. You're going to have to wait until Thursday to see who we pull. All right, so we just finished our box opening. You're going to have to wait and see if we got anything good. So, Collector, how do you think the first day went back at shows oh wow it was great great to be back in the show at the show and uh seeing the vendors and looking around for cards and getting the autograph guests you know getting the autographs uh it was fun so you know right back in the swing of things definitely a fun time this will conclude vlog number two
they go edit this and go to bed. We'll see you guys tomorrow.